10 years ago we started as a, as a little independent space uh, not far from here but in very much smaller gallery space and we started to see Husqvin Nouns uh, works around town uh, he would do these posters uh, which were all unique that he would read paste to the walls of Copenhagen and it would always have these like really simple but kind of interesting philosophical Husqvarna noun. Uh, the artist name means remember my name in, in, in English. So it was kind of like an anonymous message, but very like it seemed very heartfelt and it seemed like he wanted to reach out to the rest of the world and and make them think. And that's basically what we wanted to do with the gallery as well. Uh, bring art to people that would um, make them look at the world differently and give them a different experience. So in that way, it felt very natural to work together. Well, normally Husqvarna Noun has been working very thematically. Uh, in the past four exhibitions we've had with him, it's been the first one was about love. The second one was about integration between uh, the Danes and all the foreigners living here. And the third one was about uh, the gentrification of Copenhagen. I mean, the old Copenhagen disappearing and Copenhagen becoming more and more mundane. And the fourth one was about, uh, it was called While We Await the Upturn, was about how, what it's like living in a financial crisis. And this one is not so specific as the ones we've had earlier on. It's called One of These Days, and it's basically a lot of very mundane situation, everyday situations where he has found something poetic or something interesting in, in these very much like things we do every day. And I, I, I guess that also refers to the title One of These Days is like, it could be every day, but it's also about finding the beauty in, in everyday life and not always looking for the spectacular because the spectacular might be in the mundane, in what we do every day. We'll die. When you've done something well for a long period, then maybe you feel like doing something challenging yourself and doing it a little bit different. And I think this exhibition is a is a little bit more and it's it's different, you know, in a good way. Uh, he has a huge following, also from a audience that maybe normally doesn't go to galleries or museums. It's always nice to do an exhibition with him because so many people are talking about it and I think that's super important with all art that people are discussing it even if they don't like it but at least that people come out and see it and then they can make up their own mind. I think you have to be a quite peculiar person not to find yourself in one of his pieces and of course there's this you, you, some, of, some of the pieces I look at them and I recognize the situation and I even recognize myself doing something wrong in the depicted situation. So it's also a, there's a gentle little tease or reminder to you about reconsidering how things are done and that things can be done in different ways. But I do think that, that it's very much about that you can always, in a poetic way, find something you can relate to in his work. I don't think he does it to be popular, I think he becomes popular because it touches people. I mean, it touches a lot of different people and I kind of really love that we have like, like really young fans coming in here, people that are like 12, 14, and they, they really look forward to the show. And then we have people that are 70, 75 that come in and also enjoy the same paintings. And I think that is a very rare quality for an artist to have such a large audience. It's time to say